well, hey, look at that. Now, you know as well as I know, we cannot go wrong when we start with a quote like this. <laughs> a little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest men. Obviously women, but a little nonsense now and then, it's good for us. It's like vitamins for us, especially this time of year where it's just after um, a lot of commotion from the holidays. And for a lot of us, sorry, like making a statement with my fist here, <laughs> a lot of us are dealing with bleak, bleakness. Now, if you live maybe in Australia or um, I'm thinking Argentina, you know, then maybe you're just not dealing with what we're, the rest of us up here on this end are dealing with, and that is bleakness. It's cold and outside, even though I have a really sunny day, um, it's just shades of brown and white and black and gray. It's just really kind of a bleak um, landscape. Now as artists, it's very exciting um, in some respects because to us, it's like a clean palette. We get to have a rest for our eyes. I don't know if you are um, as crazy visually, uh, what's the word for it? I was gonna say tactile, <laughs> visually tactile. Oh, it's kinda hard to, <laughs> Touch things with your eyeballs, but um, <laughs> here's a better word. Oh, just visually, you just take in. I take in visually just so much information um, that for me, winter is actually restful because I I am constantly looking at things um, <laughs> visually tactile. Oh dear, that's probably why I have such red eyes all the time is because I'm so visually tactile. <laughs> all right, enough, enough, enough. Let's get started. So anyway, this project um, comes from going out this morning is freezing and I was taking boys to school. I drive them over to the bus stop and over to the local high school. And I looked at these, you know, everything that's outside and how cold it must be. And I just thought, oh, I have seen pictures in different places. I'm going to try to sketch it darker for, the, <laughs> for those of you that sometimes tell me, Janelle, your sketching is just so light. So I'm going to try harder, okay? Um, I have seen pictures, and it's not where I live. I don't have this. I wish I had this. I know that they've had a um, showing of this, or showing, a, uh, what would it be called? kind of an art walk or an exhibition uh, of this type of event. But it was where these knitters and crocheters came together and took beautiful trees and knitted, knitted sweaters for these trees. So here we have, you know, and obviously with the medium that we're working with, this is sort of a large block. <laughs> this would obviously have to be shrunk way down because this is just really kind of a large, large, but you could get um, some tree trunks going or I could, or we could do it together. It's so funny. I do these videos and I'm telling you what to do when I'm doing it. So I have a couple of wood blocks here and obviously that's way too large. So I'm going to start over again, but giving you the idea of you know, big tree trunks. So let's do um, something more the size of a wood block. So I'm going to break down my paper here into sections so I can control myself. I get talking and I sketch really not the right size for things. Okay, so one thing that we can do because we're working with, um, you know, a block is we can do a trunk like this of a tree coming up, which I love to do. I love to have something completely offset, completely over to the side, and then have, you know, the branches come down like this. It's my favorite. It's always my go-to. I like to do that. So this would be the trunk, right? The fun part about having a, 
a block to work with instead of um, working with a canvas is that then we can turn this and we can keep going. So this would then be the trunk of the tree, right? We could take in this whole corner is the trunk of a tree and just keep wrapping it around and then we could actually introduce another tree, kind of the same kind of look and get it going on here. You see that? I mean, obviously I would probably have to paint it or do it in paper for you to understand, you know, to visually get it. But here's the tree trunk and the branches and we can do more branches, we can do less, we can put leaves on them, whatever. But the fun part comes down to the fun part comes down to knitting the scarf on the tree. Oh my gosh. You could do any color. Do you understand the possibilities with this? It's like endless, endless, endless creative potential opportunities with this sketch. So this would go like out of the block so we don't have to finish the top of the tree. This would just be a very strong trunk on, you know, this side or this side. And then we would have you know, a really fun branch. You could have, um, because it's yarn and I have knitted and crocheted in the past. <laughs> My mom is laughing at me right now. Um, I tend to get everything like, um, you know, how when you knit, things are supposed to just stay, you know, somewhat like this in your knitting. And mine tends to go like either like this or like this, right? And I also tend to get things knotted up because I'm not I have not super careful with my yarn. So I get, so you could put some knotted yarn in here. We could put a really cute knitted heart on here for Valentine's Day or just for just a cute little heart, right? In case you're doing this knot at Valentine's Day, like we are. Um, this could be just an adorable little block. Do you see that? So right here we would have, you know, a piece of yarn coming down and then we could just have a, just a super darling knitted heart. And it could be all different colors. It could be one color. You know, we would for sure, um, I would for sure do it out of some, uh, you know, just a really colorful paper so that it just pops. You know, the color just pops off of the background. Darling, so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's do another. Ready? Okay, now if you are not into like a huge tree trunk, which, why would you not? I mean, it's so cute. Like you could put a, look at me obsessed. I know I get so obsessing. You could put a, you know, a big knot for the tree trunk here, or this could actually be, you know, you could put a little squirrel tail coming out right there. You could obviously put bird's nests up here, which we totally love to do. You could make that bird nest out of a bunch of knitting needles. Do you see what I'm talking about? You could make a bird nest and then put some knitting needles coming out of it. What? So cute. I know, calm down, calm down. Okay, here's another one. What if we get some tree trunks? And these are skinny trees this time. Okay. What a fun way to practice sketching too. Look, it's just loose, it's silly, it's a straight line. Well, it's not even straight. It's like a wiggly, sort of a straight line in a tree shape. I don't think you can go wrong with this. This is good practice to get us started for <laughs> class this month. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's get some tree limbs going. And the same, same, same deal, guys. The same. Okay, all different directions. These are all, they can all be friends, right? We can just have them go one into another. Then the fun part comes in, you can make little sweaters so all of them can have a different sweater. Like what if this one, the sweater was all 
black or dark blue, right? Look, what if it was just a bleak sky? So a very white or cream background, maybe even gray. Okay. This guy right here could be a dark color, black, dark blue, dark brown, whatever. And you could do polka dots on him. Okay. There's also this, um, wonderful, uh, kind of, um, impulsive, uh, thing that people are doing by going out in large cities and putting scarves on trees and leaving them for people maybe that would need a scarf. Okay. It's just a beautiful, uh, show of love and consideration for others. I think, I mean, it's kind of odd to go pick a scarf off of a tree, but I think, um, I think too that it's a really just a beautiful idea and it also plays so well into what we're doing. So you could take, okay, so if this was a dark color with white polka dots or whatever color polka dots, and then you could tie a scarf just like this onto your tree and it could be, you know, what if it was, um, lime green. See where I'm going with this? Lime green. So cute. Okay, now this one right here could be a stripe. Stripe, 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 stripe. And it could be all different colors, but heavy on the pink. Okay, so can you see how you can move along and change up the colors? This one you could have um, vertical stripes instead of horizontal stripes. Well, because, you know, this tree is on a diet. Just kidding. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that would be kind of a funny thing to sketch, wouldn't it? Trees on a diet. That would be silly. Okay, so let's do a scarf on this one as well. Someone tied a big, thick knotted scarf. And this could be, you know, black and white stripe. So cute. Okay, and this one could be a solid color. It could just be another stripe. Maybe it would have a lot of smaller stripes in it. And it could be just bizarrely, just every color. You know, we could do orange, purple, green, pink, yellow. You could just load up the stripes. So do you see where I'm going with this? This is just such a funky, fun, playful way to introduce color, to be silly, to practice our sketching, to think out of um, our own imagination. If you want to go outside and look at trees, that's an awesome thing to do and to get a better idea of what branches look like. Um, you could also introduce little bird shapes in here because it would be so small. Um, you know, depending on your block, if you have a larger block, I have a larger chocolatey color here. I could actually fit all of those. See how they would all fit right there on that block? Or I could just keep wrapping it around. What? Look how cute that would be. So you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. You could just wrap all of those trees around. Put the cutest little Valentine message to your friend. I mean, how darling would that be sitting in someone's kitchen window? You know what I mean? It's just playful and different and fun. And we could come up with some cute quotes to go along with it. You could tie a little ribbon, put a little quote off to the side and gift it or keep it for yourself for these bleak days. And it would definitely make you smile. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to get started on that. Um, if you want to put a big ball of yarn down here on the bottom with some knitting needles. So cute. There's just so many little details you could add to something like that. If you're really, really into kittens, dogs, lambs, you could have your little lamb peeking her little head out right here. You know, I'm going to talk about this year's lambs, right? Cause it's the year of the sheep. It's my year. Girls, it's my year. I'm so excited. So there's a little sheep peeking her head out. Anything goes. 
Really, just anything goes, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so, so, so fun. I can't wait, okay? Grab out some paint and some paper and I'll see you in a minute.